Assalamualaikum and hey everyone who is watching this video. So our lecturer has assigned us to do a video regarding any topic which is related to ecology. Therefore, my friend and I have came out with a topic which is an ecosphere or a life in a jar. So what is an ecosphere and how does this work? An ecosphere is a completely closed, balanced and a glass ecosystem. So how does an ecosphere work? So the most important thing in an ecosphere is the sunlight because the sunlight is the main energy source for the ecosphere. Sunlight provides the light energy for the aquatic plant or the algae in the jar which blends together in the ecosphere with the energy which is used to produce oxygen or nutrients. Then, animals such as shrimps, snails, and etc. breathe the oxygen. These creatures then produce carbon dioxide which will blend together with the algae or the aquatic plant in the jar. These are not the only organism which lives in a jar, but there is a plenty or countless amount of microorganisms such as bacteria which act as a decomposer in the jar. These microorganisms or bacteria decomposes the animals in the form of poops or dead bodies. Microorganisms also produce carbon dioxide and use oxygen and decomposes the dead organisms in the aquatic plants. While the bacteria or the microorganisms is decomposing, they turn organic waste into inorganic waste or nutritious substances which blends with the aquatic plant or the algae in the jar. So as you can see, this is a life cycle. So the cycle repeated from the beginning, uh, from the main source till the end and it started back with the light sources. So thank you. So in this topic, we use three samples of water. First water from waterfall, that water and the last one water from body field. Put a quarter of soil into a container. Put some stones because the stones will work as a filter and it will stabilize the water temperature. After planting the aquatic plants, pour the water into the container. Close the jar with a lid and place it outside to get the sunlight but not a direct sunlight which can lead the fish to die due to high temperature hi everything oops hi everyone so for sample one we use water from waterfall and some render plant from the waterfall as the aquatic plant so in a few weeks we can see that an algae appear around the jar next the fish that come from the waterfall still alive because it gets enough oxygen from the aquatic plants but we can see the fish because it keeps hiding behind the stone for the sample 2 we use the water from paddy field and some random plants from the river as the aquatic plants so in a few weeks we can see that there is some tiny creature I think it is water flea species such as Daphnia, Moina, Diatomus, Cyclops, and Bosnina. And this organism living in the jar 
by eating the organic materials from the soil and water and they get the oxygen from the aquatic plants as for the example tree we use pipe water sample and water lily for the aquatic plant after few weeks of observation we can see that there is a snail which comes from the water lily and the moss on the little rock So, hey, it's me again. So, we just now have explained to you the life cycle or the ecosystem in nature with the presence of sediment. So, now I'm about to tell you about the life cycle without the presence of sunlight or when the jar is placed in a dark place. So, have you all ever thought what will it happen if there's no sunlight? So, Let's go. So remember when I said that an ecosphere or the life in a jar needed a sunlight because the sunlight is the main energy sources to make this ecosphere works happen. So what will happen if there's no sunlight? The plant needs sunlight to grow and produce a chemical reaction called photosynthesis. So when there's no presence of sunlight, the plant will start to turn the city white and essentially stop growing. So, as the plant stops growing, it can produce oxygen or nutrients. So, when oxygen can be produced, all the aquatic plants in the jar will be lack of oxygen in the water. Thus, competition for oxygen will occur. And this will lead to more death among aquatic animals in the jar. So, as I see, this is a life cycle. So, uh, the life cycle will repeatedly start from the light energy and will continue and it will repeat it. So, when there's no light energy, the life cycle or the ecosphere will never happen.